But one of the things about covering this war has been just not knowing what's going on. Call it what you want, fog of war, um, ignorance. Often you don't know what's going on. Back in February, on maybe the third day of the war, there was a battle right here in Kharkiv. I was standing right here. Um, there were some destroyed Russian vehicles there and Ukrainian soldiers, they brought up a tank. Um, we had no idea, we really had no idea what was going on, um, except that those guys didn't want us to cross the road. At the time, we were, were kind of kicking ourselves. Should we have, you know, gone over there, spoken to them, got an interview? Now I'm back in Kharkiv, come and have a look. We then realized there were Russians here. They're in that school. Um, and the damage was inflicted by the Ukrainians as they tried to weed them out in a massive firefight. The tank we saw was firing there. We were literally, it turns out, what, 100 meters from the firefight. So this was the Russians' uh, big attempt to take Kharkiv. They drove straight into the middle of the city. There were several hours where we had no idea who was in charge. We thought maybe it had fallen. Um, so we came down here. What we now realize had happened, the Russians had come charging into town, met some resistance or got lost, turned around, came back here. They were basically ambushed by the Ukrainians in this position. Their vehicles were abandoned. And they took refuge in that school. And what resulted was a very intense firefight. Um, and well, you can see what happened. And the mad thing is, just, just, just the contrast. At the beginning of the war, this, it, it was a live battle. There was no one here. This place was shot to bits. Um, no one around. And Kharkiv today, now the Russians have gone back, is it's still got that slight feeling of of unease, the war's not that far away. Oh my God, it's transformed. I mean, look at the traffic, the tram is running now.